I want to share with you a use case that was created by the talented Max Lewis, who has a lot of personal experience dealing with fishing, and this is one of those cases. As we see, we have here two offenses that fired about two hours ago, and I'm going to show the standard way of actually looking at this, and then the accelerated, accelerated one uh, using Advisor. So, if we look at this particular one, we see that clearly that you know these two IP addresses. Okay, nothing peculiar about those. If we look at the flow that made this offense fire. We can see that this is about an email. This is the apparently came from the CIO of this organization. The recipient is Steve Vickers. And there's a hash, and that's that's what trigger the detection in Curator, because that has is actually uh, malicious, and there's a Word document involved. Okay, what else? Let's actually go to the first offense and do something similar. And you see that these things sometimes takes time, even though the, in this particular case there are a few offenses and flows. And I can again go in here and look at what's in here. Well, there's a JPEG, it's an image, Strange is actually malicious, and when we see this word office JPEG, then if you are familiar with this as Max is, well, you know that this is classical of an attack in which a word office uh, JPEG is shown, indicating that this document has been created with an older version of Word. Click here to convert it, and then the document in the back is blurry, kind of uh, inciting you to look at it, and that makes the attack uh, proceed and continue. There are droppers, starters, and other uh, different pieces. And uh, we can actually see the actual events that fire. And we can see a lot of PowerShell, and this is the beauty of Sysmon, you know, detecting abuses on, on PowerShell, which Sysmon is so good at. That's uh, actually pretty good. We can even go into the UBA and look for Timothy Vickers, which I already did here, and we can see that there are five use cases, and we can see that there's suspicious PowerShell activity, and we can renew this, and these are the, the same processes, the logs that we saw here, but in a more friendlier way. Uh, that's good. Uh, browse to a malicious website, and we can see the proxy logs that indicated that it, that's the, the guy went straight to this particular uh, address in there, notice the HTTP, and then there's no URL. It's actually this particular link over 443 that downloaded that Word Office JPEG. Interesting. But if we have Advisor, Advisor can save us a lot of time by completing the investigation. If we go back to the offenses and see what Advisor saw, let me actually remove, this is the green is indicating that this is related to another offense, which uh, we knew, so we can see this clearly. Notice that this is guy, Timothy Vickers, that went to that URL that we just saw, okay, and we can, everything that is read, we can actually see how Curator came to that conclusion, Advisor came to that conclusion, and we see that in this case is virus total. And we can see that there are one, two, three hashes for these individuals malware are related to this and there's antivirus that detects that and there are droppers there's a starter and there's the muddy water that's the iranian organization and you know quickly i'm sure that if you go into every one of these hashes to virus total you you will be able to come up with a similar conclusion but advisor does that in a much faster way uh, so you don't actually have to, and you can rest assured that all the offenses that you analyze can be automatically investigated. So with all this information, we know that this is definitely, uh, th th this guy, Timothy Vickers, has been fished and by email that he thought he was coming from the CIO, and no wonder he clicked on it. So we can send this actually to Resilient for remediation. And uh, we know that he's phishing, so we select the phishing template. And that brings that to Resilient. Let me make sure I have my Resilient system up. And here uh, we see the actual incident.
And if we go to the task, we see that Resilient already went to work with this particular uh, piece of malware. So it's extracting the EML sample from the mail server, getting the URL from the EML body. And you'll see these things progressing uh, and these tasks being completed. So it's extracting the attachment, IP address, gathering information, doing all these uh, things automatically for us. So, and, and there are separate videos that I have shown uh, in detail. This integration is actually banning, telling the EDR, Carbon Black, block anything that you see with that particular hash that we saw in that email. It's pretty good. Uh, so you see all these actions being taken automatically. There's a manual step here. That's the, when the person that is dealing with the incident needs to validate that this is phishing. And with all this wealth of information, there's no doubt that that's the case. So let me complete that. And again, more tasks uh, then proceed. And it's looking uh, for if there are similar emails in the mailbox for that. And it's performing the containment and uh, remediation step, which basically is to send uh, a service now or a gyra instruction for the machines to be actually re-imaged. So I thought. I think it is evident now that the, the advantage of having a good detection, like, uh, like the one that Curator has, particularly when he has the Sysmon uh, add-on, the free Sysmon add-on into it for detecting this type of uh, obfuscated and uh, low-key attacks. The benefit of looking at the actions of the user from the user analytics, the UBA, and the capability of sending these to Resilient for uh, remediation.